Got a mailbag. We got one, two, three, four, five packages. Small. Start with this box. It says uh, modules. Double sealed. This is an LCD screen that's absolutely tiny. This is the size of this LCD screen. Why is this not focusing? I ask where it's C. It's tiny. I don't even know what the size is. I'll have to look it up. Ain't it cute? It's, it's the tiniest little thing I've ever seen. That's it. Next to a razor blade. What else did I get? And I got one without a um, we got one module and one just bare LCD there's that there's the bare LCD sorry my fingers are filthy I just planted some trees Tiny little guy. All right, I'll put that over there. All right, next, silicone. All right, these are some kind of like what I have already, but this is the three millimeter size, I think. Purple. I don't like the silicone though, it's sticky and it picks up all this dirt. Hmm. I didn't consider that. Everything sticks to it. Hair. Ugh. Not, not really a fan of that. But I thought having some cool colored silicone would be good for identifying your two your hoses and stuff when you're doing pneumatics. Alright, next. It says elbow. So I've been ordering a bunch of pneumatic stuff. As you've probably seen in my last mailbag. Last couple actually. And this is a adjustable needle valve and a quick connect. So I thought if I was gonna make a well this is not for this size though, this is for Actually have it right over here. This is for this size, I think. So if I have a pen or something, I can just hook it up and then control the vacuum on it. And then hook this up to like a pen or pickup tool or something. Should be able to just disconnect it and just connect it up. And have different tool, different sizes or something like that. And this is threaded, so I could probably make some kind of pen that this connects right to. It's a little heavy, but it's cool to have that control right there instead of having a manifold. Kind of neat. I've never worked with any of this stuff before. This is so this, I just thought I'd pick up some some stuff. Last time I picked up um these straight through connectors 
I was going to try to use this smaller size tubing because it's lighter and it doesn't weigh you down. But I guess that would kind of defeat the purpose if I had that heavy thing. But I don't know. Still kind of cool. Quick disconnects and flow control. This says switch. All right, this is also for the same project. I've been working on a pneumatic solenoid controlled pickup, vacuum line pickup. And this looks like it's a do-it-yourself <laughs> foot switch kit. Not really sure how that goes together. Hmm. So I could put that on my under my desk and run a wire to be able to turn things on and off. Interesting. This I got the cheapest one you could buy. There's some nice ones. I thought I'd try the cheapest one just to see how cheap it was. So it's a foot switch. Next, tools. picked up another, another one of these soldering wicks. These are the real cheap unbranded ones. I already have one and I really like it. It works really good for being completely cheap and generic and cheap. So I bought another one. Uh, I have had a solder wick for a long time and I never used it because it was terrible. So I'm glad I gave this a try because it's much better. But they stuck the sticker on here. Kind of defeats the purpose. How am I supposed to get this off? Alrighty then. Nice. Well, yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. The last one didn't have a sticker on it. I don't know why they put a sticker on here and it doesn't come off. But you can see how nice and shiny that is. It's very thin too. That's the way solder wick should work, should should look. Ugh, this is so irritating that they put this on here. And they, it's not even the kind of sticker that comes off. It's all right. Well, that's it for now. Till next time.